class, I am going to discuss about Seymour's implementation of Boolean expression and its stick diagram. So, let me consider the Boolean expression f equal to a b plus a c plus b c the whole work. So, first the Boolean expression is converted into static Seymour circuit. So, after conversion of static Seymour circuit, you find the Euler path. With the reference of the Euler path, we will draw the stick diagram. We will discuss one by one. So, first step. Step 1, CMOS implementation, so in this step we will follow two rules, rule number 1, so in this boolean expression dot operator is present PMOS transistor connecting parallel N MOS transistor connecting series. Rule number 2 define plus operator present in the Boolean expression P MOS transistor connecting series N MOS transistor connecting parallel. So, using these two rules, this Boolean expression is converted into CMOS implementation circuit. So, before going to implement the Boolean expression, you first check is there any possibility to simplify the Boolean expression. So, here in this two product term, C is the common, you just take it out. A, B plus C is the common term, then A plus B the whole part. So, it is a simplified Boolean expression. Now, I am going to implement the CMOS design, CMOS implementation. So, first I draw VDD on VSS. The basic structure of CMOS implementation is it has a two network PUN and PDN. So PUN represent pull up network, it consists of PMOS transistor. Then PWN represent pull down network, it consists of N MOS transistor. So, output is get from mid of this two network. So, F. F is the output function. So, now come to the structure. So, first product term is A dot B. So, A dot B. So, dot operator present in the Boolean expression P MOS transistor connecting parallel. So, here It is a A transistor, this one is B transistor. So, dot operator present in the Boolean expression, these two transistors are connecting parallel. These two transistors are connecting parallel. So, A, B. So, this pull up network connect with VDD. So, VDD is connect to pull up network. The next operator plus. So, plus operator present in the Boolean expression come to the rule number 2. So, plus means P MOS transistor connecting series. So, this C transistor is connect in series. So, it is a C transistor. The next one dot operator. So, dot operator present in the Boolean expression P MOS transistor connecting parallel. So, this P MOS transistor connecting parallel, parallel between these two terms. So next term is A plus B. So plus operator present in the Boolean expression P MOS transistor connecting series. These two transistors are connecting series. A, B. 
So Pullock network structure is over. Then Pullock network one line is connected to output. So it's a output F. Then come to pull down network. I start from C transistor. So pull down network consists of N MOS transistor. So it's a C transistor. Then dot operation. So dot operation means N MOS transistor connected series. Then A plus B. So A plus B plus means this N MOS transistor is connected parallel. So A and B transistor is connected parallel. So this is the A transistor. This one is B transistor. These two transistors are connected parallel. So this C transistor connected series with this two transistor. Then next come to here plus operator. So plus operator means N MOS transistor connected parallel. So N MOS transistor connecting parallel. Then A dot B. So dot operator present in the Boolean expression, N MOS transistor connecting series. So A transistor and B transistor. These two transistors are connected series. These two transistors are connected series. A and B. So this is the general structure of uh, CMOS implementation. So after making the CMOS implementation, you find the Euler path. So once you find the Euler path, reference of this one, we will make the stick diagram for this Boolean expression. So here I am taking the Euler path. The starting node is B. So B, A, then C, A, B. So this is the Euler path. So I make the terminal, so source, drain, source, drain, source, drain, source, drain, source, drain. Come to pull down network, so drain, source, drain, source, drain, source, drain, source, drain, source. So this Euler path and Euler graph concept will discuss the earliest video. If you need to kindly refer the video, which path is set in the pull up network, the same path choose in the pull down network also. So starting node is B, A, C, A, then B. So path is B, A, C, A, B for pull up network. Then B, A, C, A, B for pull down network. The next thing, draw the stick diagram. So in this implementation, I need a 5 transistor. So first I draw BDD and BSS. So below the BDD line, make a P diffusion. So this line represents P diffusion. Above the BSS, make N diffusion. So this line represent N diffusion. Then I need 5 transistor. So I draw 5 polysilicon layer. So this each line consists of one transistor. So I just give the transistor name in the same order B A C A B then B A C 
A B. So next represent the terminal source and drain terminal using this path. So the starting node is B. So source drain then A transistor source drain then C transistor D and S. So drain source so next drain source A transistor drain source then B transistor source and drain source drain then come to pull down network the starting node is B so source drain source drain then A transistor source drain then C transistor drain source then A transistor drain source then B transistor source drain so after assigning the terminals then make the metal contact layers so here this B transistor source is connected to VDD this B transistor source is connected to VDD so it's a metal layer this VDD and VSS is the metal layer I just take uh, the contact for B transistor source on this VDD then this A and B transistor this A and B transistor source is connected to VDD so A and B transistor source is connected to VDD this two transistor source point is connected to VDD you just check this diagram this A transistor B transistor this two source point is connected to VDD and this B transistor source terminal is connected to VDD so for we take the VDD connection for B transistor A transistor and B transistor then come to here so B transistor drain and A transistor source is series connection so B transistor drain and source is series connection then A transistor drain is connected to C transistor drain so A transistor drain is connected to C transistor drain then C transistor source is connected to A transistor drain and also B transistor drain so C transistor drain so C transistor source is connected to C transistor source is connected to A transistor drain so already connected then B transistor drain I just take one metal contact from here so this layer is connected to B transistor drain you just look at the diagram C transistor source is connected to A drain so C transistor source is connected to A transistor drain and C transistor source is connected to B transistor drain so C transistor source is connected to B transistor drain so this part of connection is over then you just look at here so C transistor drain and A transistor drain so between here you will take the output so C transistor drain and A transistor drain from here you take the output function F take the output function F so this port is over pull up network is over then come to pull down network so the starting node is B transistor so source is connected to VSS so B transistor source is connected to VSS then drain and source B transistor drain is connected to A transistor source so drain and source is series connection then A transistor drain is connected to C transistor drain so A transistor drain is connected to C transistor drain so from here you will get the output so from here you will get the output so this connection is over B transistor connection over, A connection over, then C connection over. 
So C transistor drain, sorry, source is connected to drain of A and B. So C transistor source is connected to drain of A and drain of B. So C transistor source is connected to drain of A and B. So source and drain already connected. So this source point is connected to B transistor drain. So this connection also over. Then A transistor source and B transistor source is connected to VSS. A transistor source and B transistor source is connected to VSS. So this line is called as the demarcation line. So above this line, it represents the pull-up network. Below this line, it represents pull-down network. I hope you understand the concept very well. If you are watching first time in my video, kindly subscribe and support us to make a lot of videos. Thanks for watching my channel. Thank you.